Okay. I decided to take a little break here and enjoy the scenery before I help the rangers further. I went up on this hill next to this ruined tower here, which you can't get up on, at least not without a horse. Um, but it's a nice view of the Brandywine Bridge and Stock Tower. That's enough dawdling. Stay a moment. What do you need? So we're going to go to Crick Hollow and see if we can find any reason or evidence left behind when the Nazgul fled. Uh, he says that the Crick Hollow is Baggins home, and it may be uh, Frodo's home in Buckland, or it could be that it just belongs to his cousin. I guess it's not his cousin, it's Fatty Bolger. Who we'll, we'll see here in a second, I think. Buckland is another area that has a huge amount of detail, with not a lot to do in it. And there's some quests here, but they all send you outside of Buckland. There's not any of them that are actually inside. There's one one quest from Kalendeen here who will send you to talk to uh, the mayor of Buckland, so to speak, who's over here on the hill, but that's it. Um, but there's like a there's a frog pond with some frogs in it. There's just all sorts of crafting stations and vendors all the way around the hill. Uh, another really nice area with a lot of detail, and like this where this cow has apparently got stuck on the roof. And uh, uh, there they go. It's just, I love little things like that, and it seems like there's a lot of areas where they just kind of passed over things like that. And I'm looking at, like, Pelergear and Dol Amroth. They have a lot of detail as well. Uh, certainly, but it it's more more silent, more static. There's there's a lot of people walking around doing things, but not a lot of conversation or um, kind of silly things like that. At least not that I've seen. Uh, where am I going? Oh, totally missed it. That is Fatty Bulger. Redigar. Goodness. Awesome. Way to keep that secret there.
Oh, mercy me! One of the things I didn't notice until recently is this cloak here. Uh, as I recall in the books, when they flee Crick Hollow, Frodo and Sam and um, one of Merry or Pippin, um, <clears throat> he leaves his cloak behind. And someone sees it, Gandalf, Aragorn, and thinks that, that he's been taken. Although, uh, obviously, he just fled. I think he left it. Yeah, I don't remember if he left it intentionally or not, but um, it's kind of interesting that they put it in there. Little things like that. Okay, let's go tell Lenglen what we saw. What can I do for you? So he's worried that there are still carbine in the trees that heard him say heard him say that uh, Frodo has the ring to be awesome. So he seems to think that they're sent by Sauron, the enemy, saying that the enemy will know that the ring's not in the Shire if the Corbine can relay the message. Hmm. Anyway, he's going to go send us back to Strider what can I do for you? to find out what to do now. Let's see, I think I'll actually... No, I'm not set in Bree. It's kind of a roundabout way to do it. Mm. Yeah, I think I'll do it anyway, just to avoid the long walk back to the stable and then a long ride back. It's just too far. We'll just assume that I went home to the Shire to rest for a bit, get a bite to eat at the Burden Baby. Oh, it still has to have their priorities. Good day.
All right, back on track. I gotta remember to set my milestone here. You always say that, and yet you're always still here. You bring dire news. Listen well. All right. So it looks like he's going to send us Listen into the old well. forest now. To go after these carbine. So I'll see you in the next section.